An innovative approach was taken at the Lullman Innovation Academy, where students not only learned how to play a musical instrument, they learned how to build it. We had uh, two small classes that we thought would be a great idea to combine and form into one uh, giant class that we can work with. And she shot the idea with me. She's like, hey, why don't we you know, do something that's a little more hands-on, something a little more creative for the kids to do. And um, we kind of stumbled upon the idea of making ukuleles, because last year we made uh, rain sticks, and this year we're like, what can we make? Let's, let's try ukuleles. Uh, the buy-in is it was great because the kids were, you know, with the whole pandemic, we were just kind of getting back into the groove of things, and we kind of wanted to give something a little more hands-on, something that combined both music and art, something we can they can go ahead and do a little more collaboratively together. So well, I'm the art teacher here, so I was more of the creative, like, backbone of designing the actual pieces. Um, Mirza really headed the entire process of putting them together. We were just here for the moral support of it. So the kids got to acrylic paint the bases, and then they drew original designs and Mod Podge them on the outside to kind of get like their whole idea, like the general theme that they wanted to accomplish. The pieces of the ukulele itself were pre-cut, but we sanded and primed them, and then they got to learn the full, you know, like here's how we create colors and match color with acrylic painting to make it all work together. You know, during tough times, this was a great project for the kids. I, I think it was something that we all enjoyed doing. It, it didn't feel like this academic, you know, school project. It just felt like, you know, let's just dive into this because both her and I, we didn't have any like real background knowledge as far as building it. So we just kind of dove in and we, when we encountered problems, the kids kind of got to see how we dealt with those, you know, issues and problems and how to solve those. So it was a great kind of hands-on learning experience to be like, hey, look, we have some stumbling blocks. How can we solve these issues or problems that we might have? Our kids are awesome. Like they're so creative and so eager to jump in, you know, with two feet. It's my second year here and they um, have really come a lot, like come far growing and learning how to be more creative and trust themselves and their visions much more. So like from the get go, they were like, this is the theme, these are the colors, I want SpongeBob on the front, he's gonna be amazing. And it was really cool because I just get to kind of take a step back and be like, all right, let's do it, like let's make it happen. They learned how to, so they learned how to string and tune the ukuleles to the correct like note structure. This is a mirror's of question. <laughs> but, they, they sound excellent. I mean, the kids are really excited. They're learning One Love by Bob Marley. So we're trying to create this idea of like harmony in this really crazy year. We just really wanted the kids to do a project where they would get to combine, you know, art, music, like even math, the building itself together in one real world package where these classes aren't just these compartmentalized things. They're all kind of spaced together and put together in a really fun real life way. This has been such a celebration of just like what it means to be creative, like the joy of just creating art. And I think that this year especially we've learned that we lean on the arts in a way that we never really expected that we would during times like ours. So yeah, it's been excellent. I would love to do it again. Maybe next time I'll make like full saxophones. We'll be like making metal. <laughs>